And we are going live. Italians on Team Islands. Toadie and John. There we are. Ooh, we got a snow map. And everyone gets cows. Awesome sauce. Well, this will be interesting. Um, personally, I absolutely hate water maps. I, I cannot do water. So, when I play Hellas, that'll be interesting. But I guess standard starts. Probably coming in, six sheep, put them on wood, go get boars and docks and whatnot. Um, I guess cows sort of add a different aspect to your standard grush. Seems they get an extra 50 food compared to sheep, so they'll be around for longer. So you don't need a mill as early, so you might be able to go for a fourth dock a little bit earlier if you wanted to, or just more galleys. Which will be kind of interesting, I guess. Oh, let's see, does anybody have a mega deer patch? Uh, sort of. Oh, and we get bears. Bears are cool. Oh, John's got two relatively large deer patches, plus a standard one and about four boars on his island. There's Toady. Toady's got his mega deer patch right here. Um, does he have extra boars? No. Oh, he's got two balls at the back there. That's a pretty shit spot for your balls. There's a bit of a forest in the way and a bit of a hill. Do you have any more though? No, just lots and lots of bears. That's that's a little bit disappointing. But I don't think it's likely that they'll be going for it until Lake Castle or Imp. And by then it's... Game will either be over or it won't really matter too much. Both hanging up. Ooh, that's a bad gold for Toadie. How many sides is that? One, two, three, four, five. No, okay, it's not a re, but that is really shit gold. Has Toadie seen that? I hope he's seen that. Yes, he has. Um, I, I hope he's gonna go for a re, because that is. That's gonna be horrible later in the game. And he's stuck with this four. these two four piles over here, and another random one down the edge. But what, once you get galleys, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, it'll be safe. Which is, I guess, good, but yeah, it's just not as big, and you need your nice big seven pile to get lots of gold for lots of stuff. Going for a scout lure. Can't take one more hit. No, go away, Mark. Come on, you can do it, scout. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, oh, he's almost there. A any mace it. How's about John? What's John doing? John appears to be sending a villager to do it. Maybe gonna block it with the scout. I guess we will see. And he's also going for a dock. Dock about this time. Yeah, it's a pretty standard time for it. He's got five on wood. Toadies is a bit ahead. Let's see what's that? And he's about 50% further ahead of the dock. It won't be too big of a deal at this stage. Just a little bit of extra food. A tiny little bit faster. And the boar being nice and considerate, just camping underneath the TC for him. It's always nice when they decide to do that. Yep, both getting their docks out. Cody saying Vil for the next one, is he gonna do Loom? Yes he is. Good plan, because this is a pretty bad boar, pretty far away. And Team Islands, generally everybody will front dock. Or in most island situations. Like you could go for the corners. I guess it's what about four or five deep sea fish in each corner, which is pretty good. But just along here, there's not a lot of space to micro your galleys. And the fish are a lot more spread out. Although the Forgotten is pretty nice, they're all pretty consistent spacings away. Oh, John. John, is that scout gonna make it? It should make it. And it's pretty good timing, first ball is on 60-ish food, 50 food. Almost lost his scout there, 2 health, which is pretty good. And Toadie's ball lure. Ah, oh, it's a little bit out from the TC. But... Uh, it's not going to be too bad, except for when he has to force drop. Well, that's really nice. He's got deep sea fish right next to his dock. 
Okay, we'll check the pops. We've got 21 versus 21, but Toadie's also done Loom. So he's essentially a pop ahead. And it has to be villagers. Because, what's it, 23 versus 23, okay, yeah. Still a pop ahead. Just by having done Loom a little bit earlier. So there's probably been a bit of idle TC with John early, but Toady can almost click up. He just needs to force drop a little bit of food. But thanks to the amazing Italian team, or well not team bonus, Civ bonus, where aging up is 10% cheaper. Which is, which is pretty cool. You only need 450 food for feudal age, which helps a lot. Now I'm wondering, is he going to go for another fishing ship? I would think so, because he's going to need four if he wants to keep making villages. No, maybe, maybe, no, who knows. Well, we've got four out for John, so John's going to have slightly more food, but John has not yet split his lumber camp, so he will be slightly behind in the wood count. Okay, there's his lumber camp, and he's sending a villager out to dock again, and he hasn't done loom yet. So, because, let's see what we got, 50%. 60%. Toadie could possibly deny the third dock. And seeing as they're only on 25 health, they'll be pretty easy kills. Seems he's going to get up about 15 or 20 seconds earlier. And Toadie will definitely have the wood for two galleys and double bit axe. Um, his third dock will be a little bit of a wait. Decided to send his fishing ships out to deep sea fish, which is always good. They gather bit deep sea fish a little bit faster than shore fish. Well, a lot faster. I think it's if the deep sea fish is up to 16 tiles further away than the shore fish, it's still more efficient. Like that, that's a pretty big deal. Oh, but John! John is already onto his third dock, but he is only making one galley though, and doing double bit axe. As Toadie is making two galleys. And end it. Barracks. What? 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 There is a barracks. Are we gonna see an early transport ship? This will be very interesting. Because if he's not gonna go for his third dock, he's going to lose water pretty quickly. Yep, John's now getting three galleys coming out. And this is, this is not going to go well for Toadie. He needs to get a transport ship out pretty quickly if he wants to. Because once John's got water control, look, they're already equal in galley counts. John should have another two coming out in a second. Toadie's got another two. Toadie's going straight for the fishing ships. Trying to delay John's food eco a bit, harm it. Maybe force him to stop making villages. Transport ship, nope. One galley and an archery range. I'm I'm really quite confused. Maybe he's preparing for a landing, being landed. Maybe. I'm really not sure what's going on here. He's already got quite a few villages on cows. Oh, wow, this is this is trippy. John's already got water control, well, water numbers, he's got, what, 5 versus 4. Got the archery range now, he's making archers. John's getting up a blacksmith though, so he's definitely going to win water once he gets fletching. 4 versus 5 still, 5 versus 3. Yep, Toadie's almost lost water. Still making galleys, no transport ship yet. Um, he hasn't got another dock somewhere. There's the transport. There's the transport. I guess Toadie has decided that he doesn't want to get into a water fight. He wants to go for the early landing. And he's gone galleys to, I guess, deceive John into thinking he's going to go full water. But he's going to have a hard time getting this transport ship out now. Because John just needs to move this galley a little bit further this way. Yep. 
and he's going to see a transport ship as soon as it gets out. And once he sees that Toadie doesn't have a third dock, he's going to know that there's a landing coming at some stage. Going for a fishing ship exchange, although John's run his away first, so his will at least one of his will survive, most likely two. But Toadie might be able to get his transport ship out now. Ah, but there's fishing ships in the way. Ooh, ooh, would John have seen that? I have no idea, but the transport ship is away. This, this is a very interesting water game. Transport ship going all the way around to the back of his island. Try to stay safe, I guess. Still making galleys, just to keep up the ruse. I'm not sure how much of a good idea that is. Because he's just wasting wood and gold. Be better off getting up a blacksmith than doing fletching or getting another archery range. Oh, wait, we've got two back docks now. And a transport ship. What? 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 Oh, I wouldn't even actually bother going for these berries at this stage. Because John's going to win water. He's got fletching, he's got more boats. He's got more docks producing. So these berries, they're just so easily to be harassed. Like, streaming Toady Scout, yeah, come over here. Mill this deer patch in the middle of the island, that'd probably be best. Because John could get in there, pretty easily pick off two or three bills. Even more if Toady isn't paying much attention. Toady's about to suicide all of his boats, but he has a transport ship full of archers now. And still, and making a couple more galleys. A little bit short on gold at this stage. I would probably chuck a villager in with that group of archers. These bears are going to be a little bit of a problem though. But so you can build an archery range and reinforce a little bit faster. But John's going up to a fourth dock and he has made more fishing ships. So he seems pretty confident of winning water. So Toadie's two-pronged attack, I guess, using both galleys and land, might be quite effective in delaying his eco. John looks like he'll be going Castle Age pretty soon. He only needs a bit more food. Now we need to see if he's going to scout this landing. Oh, oh, this scout. This scout. Will it see it? Will it see it? Oh! Oh, it might get it on the way back, we will see. They will probably see the dead bear, though, so Toadie needs to drag the bear away. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, he may have just seen that. But if he sees this bear corpse, he's gonna know something's up. And these villagers are probably going to see archers. Nope, nope, archers are going around the side. But as we can see, John, almost ready to click up. After this villager, he can go with the nice Italian bonus. Does he have a mark? He doesn't have a market, that's why he can't go. But, Toadie, into the wood line. With fletching. Maybe pick a couple of villagers here. One. Okay, so we're going to get about three villagers. And now John is probably going to assume that there's an archery range on his island somewhere. So he's probably going to kill the scout. He's only on two health. Chucking up a tower on the gold. Very good idea, but Toady should be able to deny this. Should be able to. Come on, get in there. Kill the villas. Kill them. If you can't deny it, he will at least be able to camp under it, yes, and it is being denied. All these villagers coming off berries to come help it. Bum rushing the archers. And building the tower at the same time. He's going to lose lots of villagers, but he's going to retain control of this gold mine. Which is, I guess, the most important thing at this stage. Because without that gold... Oh, well, he's still got this one in the stone back here, which is pretty easy. Toadie doing pretty well there. What These five archers have killed... Maybe six villagers for no losses yet. What 
is Cody doing at home though? Because John's over 50% of the way up to castle. Still making galleys at the back. Lots of docks at the back. He's very close to going up. He needs some more villages on gold. Not sending any more archers over. It seems to just be a very minor attack. John has bought stone for another archery range. Chucking up an archery range. Not an archery range. Sorry, another watchtower to defend the wood line. Is Toadie going to run to the base? No, he's just going to sit there and tank it like a champ. And there goes the usefulness of his archers. They are basically dead now. But I think John has stopped making galleys. Oh, that's Toadie. Let's switch over to John. Making his own transport ship. He thinks water's finished. Toadie needs to get these galleys around the front and get in the way of this transport ship before John can get over and land him. Very surprised John has not hit these berries yet. He knows they're there. Just busy killing the docks on the front. While Cody's 33% of the way up. Nine. And what, this is five docks at the back? He doesn't have enough gold, he needs to sell some food or wood or something. So he's got these docks, he's got the wood to keep making galleys. But he just can't afford it, in gold, gold wise. John with a shit ton of fishing ships. What are you gonna do, archers? Oh, one archer left. John trying to do a bit of a wall off. I probably wouldn't have even bothered. It's only two archers. You can bomb rush them with villages if you have to. Oh, there is the landing. Toady, Toady should have seen this. Toady, tell me you have seen this. Are you making archers? No, you're not. Come on, Toady. There's an archery range. Oh, that is that is brilliant placement from John there. Ah, uh, yes, this, this is the first game. Uh, the next game will be Magyars on Golden Pit, and then if it's tied one all, then it will go to a Mega Random Mirror War. Finally attacking the berries. Cody should come here due to the attack notification and see the transport ship. But there is now an archery range in his island. And there is another archery range, and he is making crossbows. Cody can now see this new one, though. Come on, Toadie. Get your galleys. Oh no. Oh, runs into the war galleys. Doing war galley. Not doing Bodkin. Doesn't have the gold for it. Gonna take quite a few losses here. He should win this fight. Due to superior numbers. But he's gonna take mega unnecessary losses here. And if John scouts this island, even just a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Good work, Toadie. Chucking up a TC on his golds. Needs to protect them. Toadie attack. Don't just mill around. There we are. Alright, so Toadie now has a chance at retaking water control. John should start making war galleys again. He has seen that Toadie is on water. Alright, he's making a handful of galleys. Starting to chop his wood. Being a little bit sneaky there. Toadie just going for two TCs to defend his base. And he might be making some archers. Nope, not making archers at all. Just gonna depend on the TC's for protection. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be a good idea. A siege Workshop and a Manganel would probably be a good idea at this stage. Like, Manganels are decent against war galleys as well. And two rangers versus one, he's going to lose that pretty consistently. But John actually has basically no navy. Let's see, what's he got? He's got about six or so warships? Seven. Seven versus Toadie's about... 15? 15, yay, hey, I'm good at guessing today. This is a good day. So now Toadie's gonna clean up all these boats, probably go kill the fishing ships at some stage, and then just slowly kill these archery rangers. He's lost, I don't know, maybe four or five villagers getting up this TC, but now his eco is pretty well protected. I think the best thing that John could do is maybe build a tower over near this gold. And then stonewall it in. That would screw up Toadie pretty heavily. Starting to mine stone at home for his open TCs. But his eco is going to very quickly start to fall behind. Although, he's going to hit this wood line pretty badly. And Toadie appears to be going 
almost full water at this stage. Ah, there's the siege mushroom that I wanted. That plus his war galleys will be able to clear up this this push pretty well. Ooh, there's a tower. Can Toadie see the tower? Toadie can see the tower. Toadie sends his villagers to attack the tower. Good work, Toadie. Robo approves. John, unfortunately, did not know that there was a TC over here. So he had no idea there were so many villagers just standing around nearby, ready to come bum rush him. These villagers are all going to die now, unless he jumps into the transport ship. Ooh, sending the war galleys over to protect them. So the villagers might not die. Ooh, trying to get into the boat as well. Okay. Everything is happening. Both sides are going to lose some villagers. But Toadie with his superior, maybe? I think. Probably. We'll be able to clear this up pretty well. We've got a Manganel now. All these villagers just running around randomly. Manganel, attack the boats! Attack the boats! Attack! 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 Ah, uh, ah, uh, you silly Manganel. Toadie needs to bring some more boats over. There we are, there comes the more boats. John appears to be going for fishing in the back corner. Toadie still has his random transport ship just chilling. He needs to do something about these crossbows. They're denying his wood relatively well, like that one war galley is slowly killing them all. That's going to take a while. It's not going to be too efficient. And as it is, he's still losing a couple of villagers, but here comes the manga now. Ooh, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. All cleared up now. But now John has got two crossbows over here to defend his tower. With a villager on three health. Go Manganel. Kill the villager. Kill the villager. Or go for the crossbow, and that works too. But Toady is now losing water. John back on war galleys. Toady does not have the wood for war galleys. Wow, this is a really strange water map. They're going water, they're not going water. They're going water, they're not going water. Ah. Still got another random villager over here. Is John still making archers? Nope. He could, he's got the wood for it. Still on only 2 TCs, 70 pop. Toadie, 3 TCs, only 51 pop. Wow, that is a massive difference. I guess a lot of that has to do with all the fishing ships that we've got. But we've got... It's Toadie. Toadie has no fishing ships. John has... I will do just fishing ships. He has 11 fishing ships. Wow, that's, that's a lot of fishing ships. That's a lot of free food. Well, relatively free. Pushing back Toadie's navy. Toadie is definitely underdone here. We've got 12 boats for John. Toadie's on 7. If all of these can chuck out a war galley, which most of them are, the fight will be relatively even. Um, are there any universities? Nope, no universities, so no one's got ballistics. No one's gun, plus one armor. So, relatively even fight, I guess. Still got the three health villager over here. 59, 78. Yep, still staying relatively even pop wise. Cody, get all your boats to attack. Um, John could possibly fight this. Yeah, all all the John all the Toadie's boats are on full health though. So yeah, probably a good idea to GB. Yeah, wait for these reinforcements to get here. Toadie is still on twelve boats. John is on fifteen. Definitely slowly breaking ahead. Still making a couple of war galleys at home. Toadie is also he's only got about half of his docks working. I don't know why he's easily got the wooden gold for it. Manganel just chilling away, pecking away at the archery ranges. Ooh, ooh, fight is turning out to be pretty even. Oh, because John has five boats just chilling back here. Oh, that is not good. He could have won that fight if they were up in the front. More boats coming in to reinforce, though. Toadie, Toadie, keep your boats together. That one's dead. Probably gonna lose another one or two. Now John has the advance 
I got winning, he's got more boats. Toadie making, again, I got half of his docks. Only one of his TCs, does not have a lot of food at the moment. But he is clearing up this board pretty well. There are still two villagers just not doing anything. But that is no big deal at the moment for John. Like, his eco is pretty strong, he doesn't really need much food income. He's got quite a lot of farms and a lot of fishing ships. He appears to be pretty confident that he's got water control back. He's sending all these boats back around to the front for the wider, more expansive fishing. And yeah, making some more docks. Ooh, looks like he's going to go for these fish. Still mining stone, he's got 400. He could be going for a castle drop soon. He's going to need to transport over a couple more villages first, but definitely an option. Yeah, again, they're both only using about half their docks. Toti has got a massive wood shortage at this stage though. Toti signed the house up. Good plan. Did he kill that injured villager? I think he did. Good work, Toti. There's this one still. Can you see it over there? No, you can't. Fair enough. Here comes picking off some. Picking off one. Only one. Someone needs to go for university and get ballistics. I think John is probably the most likely candidate. He's got a much stronger eco at the stage. 104 pop. 82 is 20 ahead now. Wow. 22 boats for Toadie. 27. Okay, so their boat counts are relatively even. Oh, John is now going for a stable. And he's doing armor upgrades. He's going to be going for some knights. Definitely a good choice. Toadie has got one mangonel. One mangonel versus knights is not going to go well for him. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Toadie deciding to GB. Still no one's done the plus one armor, which I find kind of strange. Italians get cheaper dock, tap, dock techs, so it's not that big of a deal. Outlaying the, I don't know what's 200 food, 100 gold for it. We have a university coming up for John though. This single archer, if it attacks the villager, could could deny the university. But nope, it is just going to peck away at the uni instead. And this villager is going to die to this bear. And then, yeah, it's going to die soon. Poor villager. Ah, uh, Toadie also going for the university. But John is ahead. John's got a lot more resources in the bank. He's got almost 1k gold at this stage. He could possibly buy part of his way up to Imp. I don't know, buy about 400 food. And then, while he's gathering that last 200, gather another 200 gold to make up for it if he wanted to. Boat counts. Toady looks like he has a lot of boats. 30 for John. Toady, Toady, how many have you got? 31. Toady has retaken the boat score lead. But they're not going to do anything just sitting here. Where it's like, because the main point of fighting for water is so you can have fish. John won water, then he lost water, now he's winning water again, and he is still fishing. Like, he lost a handful of fishing ships, but he just moved over to here, took these fish safely in the corner, and now he's getting safe fish again. Which is most of the reason I think he's got a shit ton more food. And consequently more of the other resources, because he can send more villages over to those other resources. Uh, Toadie clawing back the population difference. It's only 10 at this stage. Probably due to the fact that he has more boats at the moment. But there will be knights coming in in a second. I don't know what text we've done, but we have 5 knights. I know we've done at least plus 1 armor. Oh, there we are. We've done bloodlines and plus two armor. These five knights are going to absolutely wreck Toadie's woodline. Ooh, Mangan actually did a semi-decent shot for knights. Did like 30 damage. Oh, why not go for this woodline? Oh, well. oh, Manganel is now dead. Toadie knows there are knights coming. Toadie has nothing at home to defend versus knights, other than just garrisoning his TCs. Good. 
I reckon John would be pretty happy with suiciding these knights just to keep Tody garrisoned. Oh my god, 42 minute wheelbarrow. Oh, that is, that is kind of embarrassing. That is probably also why John has got a much stronger eco at this stage. Ah, and Toadie has called the GG. Oh, that was a very interesting game. Back and forth, back and forth. Amazing. Okay, I'm just going to grab a glass of water. I'll be back in two minutes. Actually, first we'll have a look at the stats, and then I will go get some water. Kills, pretty even. Both lost a couple of villages to wolves and stuff, or bears in this case. Army-wise, that's just mainly due to the extra knights that he had. Boats were pretty even at the end. Oh, economy. John has absolutely thumped him in everything. Like, wood's pretty close, but that 3k extra food, John's going to be up to imp in a minute. Map explored, pretty even. Bill high. Ooh, 182. That's just that's just not good enough, Tony. You need more villages. Like, admittedly that most of that difference was fishing ships. But that still counts as a villager, it still gathers your resources. Okay, well I will be back in a